Yeah, so, um, you know, if you go back to when we first started looking at, you know, what can we do as far as from a driver's standpoint, um, you know, expediting the process, you know, they come in, they have DOT physicals. Um, what we'd have to do is we'd have to send them down the street to have the physical done. They'd have to come back and go through the rest of the orientation process. So it wasn't efficient. It wasn't really effective in, in the process. So it was kind of in that whole theme of, you know, how do we, you know, get the driver in, get the driver out. And, and then that leads to better retention down the road from the standpoint of you sometimes lose drivers through the recruiting orientation and then uh, deployment process. So when we looked at it, uh, well, first, we originally started in a, in a couple of the our, what we had dorm rooms. We had individuals, uh, doctors that would come in, do the physicals, um, you know, nurse practitioners, et cetera. And then we've expanded that uh, over the years to have a separate standalone uh, building that actually does, you know, the physicals, the drug testing. And then we've ex further expanded that individual standalone building uh, to be able to do stuff for not only the drivers, but the administrative staff and beyond just the DOT requirements. but if a driver's over the road, he's got a 53-foot trailer, you know, dragging behind him. If he tries to go home, he has to take two days off. We have to route him home. It's inefficient. Um, he, he may get home. He may miss his appointment based on where the loads are. Um, and then he's in a situation where he's frustrated. Um, he doesn't meet his appointment, and then he's got to do it again. So what we thought was if they come through Indianapolis, they could park their truck, park their trailer, come in, do what they need to do at the office. But we're also providing them the opportunity to meet with the doctor and have a more of a physician, you know, as a general practitioner type relationship, and then they feel comfortable, and then they will end up doing more for their own health and wellness uh, than they otherwise would. Because no different than a lot of uh, in other employees, most people don't end up going to, to the other doctor's appointments on a regular basis and all that. This just affords them the opportunity to actually have a relationship with the doctor and address needs and concerns prior to them becoming issues. Um, so when you look at the whole population of the driving force with what we started doing years ago was through when we uh, opened the clinic was we started doing uh, health risk assessments, looking at your blood pressure, your cholesterol, you know, all those type of uh, metrics and try to start to, to get in front of the, both the drivers and administrative employees to help them better manage their own health uh, so that they could be a better, more productive driver and have a better, you know, personal life as well as, a, you know, um, uh, a work life. So uh, how were you able to get drivers both initially engage into this uh, as these plans sort of have started and rolled out in, in advance. Because also, how have you been able over the years to keep them engaged, to continuing to, uh, fund, to to improve maybe other areas uh, of their health uh, as the uh, plans uh, have, have uh, developed? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, it, it's, it's like I was saying, it's really challenging just in general, but especially with this a population of drivers that are out two or three weeks at a time over the road. So it's really engaging them right from the get-go, right through the orientation process, uh, meet, having them meet with um, you know, the individuals uh, within the, the clinic, the doctors, the nurse practitioners, and then communicating to those uh, you know, drivers as they come through orientation, here's what we have to offer. We further started driving school down the street within our same industrial complex that has both uh, you know, exercise equipment, it's got exercise classes, spinning, um, it's got some you know, light weights, um, it's got a clinic down there as well. Uh, so especially the students, when they come through the same thing, that they have an opportunity to really get engaged in the whole health process right from the get-go. So in addition to getting engaged right from the get-go, doing the health risk assessment, really evaluating how we can you know, better help them help themselves, we stay in front of them, you know, so many times you walk around a truck, that's a mile. Do, you know, when you go to, what can you do over the road to help your, yourself be, uh, you know, better from a health standpoint? If you have high blood sugar, what, what can you do? So we put refrigerators in all the, all the uh, trucks that we currently supply to drivers. We have inverters in there so that they could actually use microwaves. Um, they could actually, you know, have the, the power of the refrigerator so there's no chance that it will not be powered and therefore it's food, food will spoil. So they could actually get fruits and vegetables and some of the things that otherwise that they wouldn't necessarily get at truck stops. So they could eat healthier. Uh, so it's really just continuing to get, condition them to do the right things you know, put them in a position where they've got the tools and the capability of having doctors, having the right amenities within the cab of the truck, uh, having the right, you know, uh, opportunities to exercise and, and be coached by individuals uh, within the organization when they're through the terminals. Um, we've got dietitians on, on site, uh, on staff that, that can actually help them and coach them as well. So it's really, it's not just one thing, it's just a, a, a whole, um, you know, a litany of things that we've got that we've 
but you know done throughout uh, over the years that we've grown um, you know that that allows us to stay in front of the driver and hopefully help them be you know uh, more health conscientious